Alright, hopefully the footage from the action camera turned out good. Uh, basically, it's still going 25 miles an hour. 24, 25, 24, 25. I didn't go all the way across town because uh, it made the same noise. Basically, I got to the point where I was going downhill and uh, the bike should have been continue, continuing to accelerate, but instead it just kept sound like it was sucking for air, like it wasn't getting enough air. It was a weird, you know, weird sound. And so, um, since before, we've got 0.64 millimeter in there now. We've tried 0.62 and we got two miles per hour faster. So I'm gonna go uh, clear down to a 60. And if a point sixty does not um, does not work right, doesn't get us up to good enough speed, then um, I think it's obvious then that we may need to go smaller. But uh, until you know, we now see there's I cleaned this all out before you watched me clean this all out, and there's oil gas mixture in there. It's not as much, but it's it's there's still some there. Okay, so. I'm going to set this um, up here out of the way, hopefully I don't forget to put it on. And um, my zip tie is really narrow and small, I don't know if it's going to be in the way of the um, of this or not. I got to shut my fuel off.
everyone, we interrupt your broadcast to bring you Subscriber Bunny, reminding you to subscribe to YouTube and give to our Patreon and all of that wonderful, great stuff. Now back to your regularly scheduled video.
right, so if you saw the footage, it turned out good. We put the uh, .60 millimeter jet in, and uh, it uh, it got up to 26 miles an hour, which is less than uh, when we put the .62 millimeter jet in. But it also uh, didn't want to go up hills as well. So anytime there was an incline at all, or any kind of um, you know major slope. Uh, it seemed to, to really want to bog down until I was on the way back. Now, if I had momentum, um, I did pretty good. Like when I went up that little hump, uh, getting up to Main Street there, um, it seemed to maintain speed pretty well, and it didn't want to slow down. Uh, but I don't know if, that, if that's a sign of it running lean. I think it is running lean. I'm going to talk to a mechanic on the phone, get some feedback from him, and then um, I am going to, uh, what's the next thing? I am going to, um, to probably put the 61 in or the 62. I think I'm going to go with the 61 next because with 62, we got 27 miles per hour. I want to go faster than that. So I might put the 61 in. Uh, when we had the 0.62 millimeter jet in, uh, there was not excess fuel going back into the fuel filter, so that was probably a sign that we were on the right track with the .62, but again, we got up to 27, and I think it was still starving for air uh, a little bit, and so again, we'll try the 61 and see if we can get up to 27 miles per hour if we're going up hills well and stuff like that and if not we can try 62 and uh, you know if I'm not satisfied we can even go back and try 63 but 0.64 is definitely uh, too rich and it only goes 60, or 25 miles an hour right now we're going 26 with the 0.60 so we're going to try to hopefully find some middle ground and hopefully uh, with the HP Rungton Gelato carburetor uh, and the reed valve that's on here, hopefully we can get over, uh, you know, hopefully at least 30 miles per hour. This engine with the 44 tooth sprocket, uh, from what I've been told, should go up to 40 miles per hour, and we're not anywhere near that right now. Uh, like I said, the closest we've gotten to that is 27 miles per hour. So I definitely want to see an improvement, and I'd, like I said, I'm going to have a conversation, and we're going to try to figure this out. All right. Hello, everyone. We interrupt your broadcast to bring you Subscriber Bunny, reminding you to subscribe to YouTube and give to our Patreon and all of that wonderful, great stuff. Now back to your regularly scheduled video.